All right, hey there, Proxians. This is Proxify here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda: The Majora's Mask. And if you guys did miss out on the last episode, we basically went and head on over to the Goron Village, and we were basically just doing a little bit of some finishing up uh, with the Goron Village. We just got ourselves basically the Don Garrow's Mask, which we already got uh, already here in our inventory, which that is also pretty nice. Uh, we also uh, did a heart piece as well too. Uh, I believe that was actually going over to the uh, treasure shop and doing that little mini game which you have to be an actual go on to actually get your heart piece you can't really use any other character for it uh, which that kind of sucks but unfortunately that's what has to happen um, and I think we also did something else which that was also learning a new song which that was the go on uh, lullaby which we are gonna be using here uh, going on over into snowhead temple so this is gonna be one of my favorite areas here I love snowhead temple and I just love the boss in, in this uh, in this uh, in this area right now uh, because uh, I, I believe the boss uh, actual name is called goat if I'm not mistaken and uh, this is where we're actually gonna be uh, using our um, our new uh, found feature of using the Goron and uh, we also have some ice keys as well which that is also kind of annoying but uh, we just have to be super careful with this and if we go and launch it oh wait hold on we just have to kind of wait here so we go Roll, 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 and go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And uh, all we have to do really is just keep on rolling. And, oh, yeah. Also, too, you can also punch out these uh, boulders along the way. Ouch. Without getting hit. And just punch it like so. And punch it again. And you can also get some nice good magic just from doing it as well. Now just watch out for the boulders, and uh, we also have to do this one more time. Now this is actually going to become very prominent uh, later on uh, throughout uh, Snowhead Temple, which we are going to be uh, having to use the Goron roll quite a bit in uh, in uh, in this area. And uh, and if you have never mastered uh, the Goron roll, you better should because uh, this whole place kind of revolves around using the Goron roll quite a bit. And uh, here we are. We're finally now over here at the temple. And, uh, I believe if we actually start making our way down, uh, I believe uh, we're actually going to be getting pushed quite a bit. And we can't really, uh, enter this way, uh, a whole bunch yet because, uh, there's a, there's this big gigantic Goron, uh, blocking our path. And I think if we use our Lens of Truth, we should actually be able to see him, uh, in the distance here. So if we kind of switch on over to our Lens of Truth, he's just chilling right there. And he's just blowing away, uh, all of that, uh... He's just blowing down here. So what is that? There's something in the middle of that blizzard. Can't you see it? Yeah, I see it. So I believe we have to go and actually play the Goron Lullaby. So let me, uh... Let me just see right here on how to actually play it. Because I know that we just got the song already. So Oath to Order, that's not what we need. But we need the Goron Lullaby. So if we just play, I believe it's A and then right and left. And then just do it again. Uh, we should be alright here. Okay, so it's A, right, and left, and then A, right, and left, and then right, and A again. Okay. Oh. Well, I didn't need to actually play the song, but okay. So let me just try and figure this out here. So it's A, right, and left, and then A, right, and left, and right, and A. No? Well, I somewhat did it. Okay. So it's A, right, and left. A, right, and left. Right, A. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Goron Lullaby? How is this not working? Like, I'm literally doing it right. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. And here we go. We got to go and play out the Goron Lullaby here. And that is now going to make uh, this dude actually fall asleep now. Uh oh. Oh, he's going to go over. He's going to go topside. See you later, big Goron. Oh, he's getting woozy. Oh, and there he goes. And he falls into the abyss down below. Okay. Now we can now be able to uh, head inside now, which that is going to be pretty nice. So let me 
Try and get some hearts if there is any. We can get healed up a little bit. Now I think every area that that always uh, has one of these, um, like has one of these uh, little safe areas, normally kind of has a fairy. So I'm gonna kind of search for a fairy that's here. There we go. All right, now we just have to be like super careful with this. Uh, I don't know if I'm just gonna go and just roll, or probably not. I don't really. Yeah, now this part is gonna get really annoying. Out. Okay. Let's do it. Oh no! Oh, I'm gonna go right overboard. Ouch. Ah, oh, that's just annoying. Okay. Just gonna watch out for these guys here. Okay. Just kind of roll. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay. Oh, jeez. Yeah, those snowballs can get pretty annoying sometimes while trying to head on here into the actual temple itself. But now we just need to use our Goron roll once again. And here we are. Now we can go and fight some of these annoying wolf boats here. And all they do is just take a few hits. They're not too much. Oh, but man, I'm almost about to die too. What the heck? Okay. So we should probably go and use our Goron roll now. Okay. Watch out, watch out. Oh no. Out. Go, go, go. Roll. We're almost there. Oh no. Ah. Even the small, even the small little mini ones even hurt me. Ah. Okay, well anyways we made it. And I'm happy. <laughs> Jeez. Here we are, we finally are inside Snowhead Temple. Okay, so let's go and enter. So, just let you guys know that this episode is going to be a little bit longer uh, than usual because since we are heading inside an actual temple, um, I'm going to try and hopefully knock out all these white freaking foes. I think that's what they're called. I think they're called white foes. So I just have to destroy all of those guys because they're going to be a pain in the neck. All right, and here we are. So watch out for the wolf boss that is actually in here. Just do one nice good old hit, and he's basically down as well. So we actually got ourselves a locked door, which we can't really do anything about. And we also have uh, an ice kind of blockade here, which we can't really do anything about either because we don't really have um, the, uh, the proper tools of the job right now. But just how crazy this Goron punch is. It's like it literally like breaks the freaking barrier <laughs> and it just leaves like this black, uh, this big huge like black hole or something that's there. It's crazy. All right, so I'm gonna go and punch some of these things because I know that these must be magic, which that is pretty nice. Now watch out for these guys. Uh, I think, what are they called? What are they called? I think they're called breezers or, or, or breezers. I think that's what they're called, breezers. Uh, we have to watch out for those guys down there. Uh, but also, uh, while we are down here though, uh, let's actually uh, fall on, ah, no. What the heck? How does that work? I got frozen at ice, but I, I, I should at least be, uh, uh, well, it doesn't really matter. So, for this one here, uh, if you guys can probably tell, there's actually uh, a fairy that's around here. And we can actually go and grab this guy. And all that we have to do, really, is get our arrows ready. And if you can line up this hit properly. I don't know if I can or not. Oh, come on, man, really? Alright, I guess we just have to wait for him to come back around. There we go. And then just put on your good old fairy mask. And if you want to go and grab all these fairies, all you have to do is just put on this and he should be coming down. Hey dude, what? Hey, right here. All right, thank you. All right, well, all good. And now let's just roll, roll all the way back. And I think this is some extra more magic if you ever do run out. But this part shouldn't really be all that too difficult of a challenge. All you have to do is just kind of watch out for when those breezers kind of um, shoot out uh, their, their annoying ice at you. I think that, I, I believe that's what they're called. I could be wrong. Okay, 
Okay, so let me line this up because I know that lining up the camera is kind of a crucial thing here trying to do this. Okay. Now I guess we'll just wait for this guy to go and then we could be able to access our way through here. So we'll just wait for this dude. So we'll let him shoot out. Okay. And then go, go, go. Oh no. Ah! Oh, jeez, man. See, I'm not always the greatest at doing the Goron roll, but it's gonna take me a little bit of some time, but, but it shouldn't be all that too bad. But we'll try it out again before I start cutting out some things, but, but I believe, uh, here in Snowhead Temple, I believe there is actually 50 stray fairies, uh, for each, uh, individual dungeon, there's always gonna be 50 stray fairies. Okay, so we're just gonna kinda, uh, just want to line this up. Okay. There we go. That seems a little bit better. Now we just go and wait for uh, the first bre uh, the first bre uh, uh, breezer to go. And then we'll uh, should be able to just line this up from here. And just shoot across like so and watch out. Okay. There we go. Getting all healed up now. Now down below, if we can actually go and see, it may be a little bit hard to judge, but there is another fairy that is down here, and all we have to do is just do it as the exact same format from before, is have your arrows, and if you can line this up properly, you should be able to get them right down here. He is a little bit hard to, to, to shoot, but, oh come on. Oh. Yeah, my shot's not always the greatest, but there we go. So you do that, put this guy on. Oh, come on. Oh, here we go. Come here, you. Oh, alright, so that's the second stray fairy already completed. We can go and uh, grab some more magic if we wanted to. Uh, don't worry, those pots will regenerate anyways. Um, so we're just gonna go jump ahead up here and uh explore a little bit more oh now for this one here there's also another fairy that you can also find very easy right off the bat and we can also grab ourselves a map as well to explore a little bit more of this place so i don't know when exactly i'm gonna start uh like um uh finishing off this episode here and when i'm gonna cut it out um but we'll, we'll see what happens um, okay, so I think for now, I think we're basically done here. There's not really anything too much else to explore, except for just heading on out of here and heading into the next doorway. So, all we have to do now is just kind of jump and uh, head on over this way here. And now, this is kind of like the big, huge hub area of what uh, the Snowhead Temple is all about. And we are just already in the very beginning of this place. So, there's nothing really... Uh, too big and important right now for the for the start of it um but what we can do though is is that there is another fairy that we can't also grab and that is right down below here and uh, it may be a little bit hard um but it should be in one of these um little spots here now i don't know exactly where the actual button is but i believe it's right here so you go and do that and that should now go and open up that chest right down below and we can now be able to go and grab this guy and grab our next fairy. Oh my goodness, there's a whole bunch of fire bubbles. Ouch. Oh, God, man. Calm down, dude. Okay, there we go. So, all good. Ah, up the stairs we go. We don't have to be worrying about those fire bubbles. But those are, the, uh, but those are some other new, brand new enemies as well, too. Um, now, while we just did that, I believe we can now actually be entered into going this way. And if we do so, uh, there is going to be a, uh, a fire torch here that we can actually go and actually burn down this other, uh, this, uh, this ice blockade now, which that is going to be pretty nice. Uh, even though that we don't really have the, uh, the fire arrows at the moment, uh, we will be getting those soon. Uh, we are going to be encountering, uh, a wizard robe that we will be, uh, getting ourselves a, uh, some fire arrows, which is going to be pretty handy. And now we're back over here. Oh, no. Hey. 
All right, fine, dude. You want to go? Let's go. Uh, let me go. I switch on over to my guard mask because I can knock out these guys out here pretty quickly if I can. Come here, you. Oh, one big punch to the face and you're gone, dude. All right, now I believe we just come. Uh, I think. Can't we just actually just return all the way back? I think we can. So we could just go and turn all the way back. And I think it's right in the blue area, right? Because if we could do that, that actually takes us right back to the uh, to the front of the entrance. Yeah, right over here. And uh, if you want to actually go and knock these guys down, all you have to do is just kind of give them one nice big old punch. And you guys can uh, break them down like so. Uh, now, this one in particular, uh, I don't think we can really do all this right now. I don't think so, no. No, because we need the fire arrows for that. I don't believe we can actually do that right now at the moment. Um, what about this way? I, I know that I just opened up this, uh, this door already. Hmm. So that's a little bit strange. So that takes us right back, but we but we're missing a key, so I'm kinda wondering exactly where this key is. Is did I just grab the key or did I forget about the key? Hmm. Well I know that we can't enter in there. What about this door? Have we ever explored this door yet? No, okay, here we go. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, I believe this is where we're going to be able to grab our key now. Or I think our compass. I can't really remember off the top of my head. But if we actually go and push this, we can actually get ourselves another fairy. Um, but we just can't um, do it right now, right away yet. So if we go and just push you over here to the side, we can actually open up a chest. But we can't really grab it right now. So there we go, that opens up you. But we'll kind of leave that there for right now. And I think if we head on over this way, I don't know if there's going to be a chest here. Yes, there's our key! Thank you! Alright, just what we needed. We needed this key. Awesome. But we will be coming back to this area. Uh, at least that is going to be down now. Or, or that, yeah, that's going to just be staying there. So, we don't have... We, we don't have to touch that at all at any part right now uh, now back over to the blue area we go I think yeah we head back to the blue area because now we just head on back over this way here no not this way oops sorry uh, there's just so much doors to just try to remember and it's just been so long for me to come in here but yeah so we already hit that red uh, that red door from before so the red door basically takes us to the beginning which that is what we do need and again watch out for the uh, the wolf wolf that's here but we're just gonna open up this door now over here and we actually get to go and uh, do some other exploration here so we're gonna kind of knock out this wolf wolf here come on dude really hey how dare you get your first punch on me dude Oh, nice. So he actually dropped some, uh, some hearts and everything. Pretty cool. Okay. So now we'll just move on over to the next one here. And this is where we're going to be able to get ourselves the, uh, the compass. Which now we can be able to see where all the other different treasures are going to be located. I'm not going to be all that too, uh, worried about trying to grab all the, all the, all the rupee chests. Not, not really. But... Uh, now, uh, if we actually go and... Oh, no. Did I just hear another Wolfos? Where did you go? Mr. Wolfos, where did you go? I hear you somewhere. Oh, there you are. Come here. How about you get one big punch to the face, dude? Oh, what? This man is dodging my attacks. There he goes. Thank you for those. Now, if you guys see here, there's actually a, uh... A crate that's up here and I'm actually gonna go and grab this guy right now while we're here so that I don't have to forget about him but uh, oop, wrong thing but uh, if we actually pick up this and wait for it to go off there you go wow that was right on the money too all right thank you stray fairy that is the fifth one so far but we're not done just yet because we still got a few more other places to go to search for more fairies. 
So we're gonna let that explode. And we'll start making our way up to the top. Wow, 20 minutes in and we're actually doing pretty good so far. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, now, now we got this area now. Now, this one is a little bit annoying, but if you guys could probably... Ouch. Uh, if you guys could probably tell that there is... Uh, let me probably need to do this first. Let me go and take care of all this different ice shingles that are here. There we go. That could break down that. Oh, what? There we go. That takes care of one section. But we still need to do some more. Break on down this. Oh. There we go. So that takes care of that section now. And I believe there is a key here. So we'll also try and grab that as well while we're at this. Uh, come on. There we go. That takes care of you. So that's another rupee chest. Now we just have to take care of this one that's right in front of our face. There we go. And I think that's about does it, but I, j just for me to be safe, just so that I don't have to worry about getting frozen in ice, we can just go and uh, take care of you right here. And there we go. Now, uh, here, we'll just go use our Lens of Truth. We'll put you on. We'll, we'll stick our arrow here. And uh, as you guys can probably tell, there is something hidden. So we're going to take a jump. Oh, nope. Huh. All right. Well, that's a little bit strange. I thought I would be able to make that jump, but I guess not. Maybe I could use my buddy hood for it. Oh, yeah. Be careful with the ice that are here, though. Okay. Now we can jump. Aha. All right. So we just have to get to a much higher ledge here. And while I do so, open up this chest and you guys have another straight fairy. All good. Alright, so now we can just come on over here. Go and put on the Goron mask to actually uh, break on down this boulder. Nice. And also get some uh, nice good rupees as well too. And this is going to give us our next key. Which, uh, actually, uh, this is kind of a funny area because this key is actually, like, all you have to do is just locate it right on over this way here. And that is exactly where you can go and grab yourself, uh, the, the next, the next key door that's just right here. Just, like, maybe, like, five seconds in front of your face. <laughs> Alright, so, now this one, uh, now this fairy in particular is kind of, uh, annoying. I remember when I first played this game, uh, I remember I couldn't really figure out where this fairy was, but... All you have to do is just basically put on uh, your Lens of Truth and also your Fairy Mask. I don't think, uh, well actually I don't think you can do that all, all in one go, but I think you can do this. Hit this up here and hit this guy. There you go. Then uh, put on your Fairy Mask here and just wait for this dude to come on down. Now, I believe we also got some enemies down here, which we should probably be able to go and knock out. Let me go and try to figure out where this dude is, because... Dude, go and knock all you guys down and out of here. Ah. Nope, nope. Not today, dude. It's not going to be like that dark, annoying room in Woodfall Temple where I had to destroy all those black foes. That one was annoying. Alright. So, for this here... All we have to do is just do our Goron, uh, our Goron stomp. So you just kind of do this and pound on the ground. Hit that. Now that's going to block our door, but not to worry because we can now uh, take this guy off and we can actually make our running leap across. Now let's see if there's anything special here. Now I think you can actually use your Goron smash for this and break all these crates. You can check out what all these items are here. So yeah, there's a whole bunch of... Uh, a whole bunch of magic if you want. Oh, here you go. Stop on the ground, like so. Okay, now all we have to do now is just kind of hit this as well. Boom. That lifts that up. And now we just need to go and make a beeline. Alright, so run, run, run. Run, run, run before it, before it closes up. Ah! Oh, thank God. 
Okay, so, uh, where do we go from here? Now, I think, yeah, we just need to use our Goron rule on over this way here, because this is how we're going to be able to get ourselves the, uh, the, uh, the fire arrows now. So you just shoot across. Whoa, watch out. Now, uh, don't worry about this one here. Uh, there is a little bit of a barrier that, that you can actually kind of, uh, kind of be careful in here. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. There you go. All good. Uh, but just let you guys know that there, but that barrier won't be there for too long because there is going to be another, uh, section that is not going to have no barrier at all. But, uh, let's just go and head on into here now. We got one of these... Breeze, uh, breezer guys, so we're gonna knock him down and get him out of here. And now, uh, we'll put on our thing, and I believe we should be able to be able to see that there's some of these little ledges here. Now, we have to be, like, super careful with these guys, and, uh, I've always been really terrible at this, and I, and I hope I can do this right. Okay. Oh, thank God, I made it. Nice. And we can just come on down here and grab ourselves another stray fairy. And I believe we can't really do anything here right now at the moment. I don't think so. No. But, uh, I think I should have been down that way yet, because I'm pretty much certain I think there is a different way that we could actually go. So let me get on out from here. So let's go and do a little bit of some backtracking, because I believe there is another way that we can actually go. And that was over to the other side, and I totally forgot. We didn't have to really go on to that other part there yet. So let's make our way back. We already busted down this area already. Now, I don't think these uh, blocks ever decide to come back. I don't think so. So, yeah, we're all good. Now we just have to watch for the ice. That's about it. Go, go, go. Okay. So now we're back here. Alright, finally, we're back. Now, again, we just do the exact same, uh, the, the same format again. Alright, so be careful, be careful, be careful. Uh, okay. Now, um, I think, uh, I'm not too anti-certain, but I think we have to go around the bed here. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's why that the barrier is is here for a reason. Because I'm pretty much certain if I screwed that up, I would have been I would have been really screwed there. Eh. Oh come on, really? Why do I keep on hitting that side though? That's a like, that's like a, a really annoying problem. Uh, I just want to just grab the fire arrows and then we can call this a day here. There we go. Okay, here we go. Now, this is where we need to go from here. So, to grab the fire arrows, uh, all we have to do now is just make our way down here. Blast across. Be careful, be careful, be careful. Oof. Now, I think we can grab some hearts and stuff like that as well, too. And here we go. We got ourselves the Wizro Battle. So this is the first time that we ever get to see a Wizro, but these guys aren't really all that too difficult. Because you just have to kind of look at your map and see where exactly he is right now. So right now he should be uh, somewhere right here. So give him a nice good old punch to the face. Now apparently he says that he's coming up this way. Oh, he's going to dodge around. Oh. Come here, you. Oh, this man knows where, where I'm going to be. Okay. Nice. So I think he only takes like four hits. So 
Oh, now he's gonna get ready to split apart, but not to worry because we do have the uh, the map here to look. All right, so he's right here. Knock him down. And there he is again. Hey, give him a nice one go, big old punch right there. And see you later, Wizro. Give me your fire arrows, dude. And uh, there we go. All good. And let's uh, pick this guy up. And ta-da! We got ourselves the fire arrows. Nice. Now, I believe now we actually have to do uh, a little bit of some backtracking now. And uh, I wonder how... Do we have to head into that area right away? I don't think so. Not right away yet. I think what I want to do is actually head down this way, though. Head down back into that red door, because that's where we do need to be. So make a roll. Whoa. No. Oh, it doesn't matter. At least I'm down here, and that's all that I care about. So we roll, roll, roll. Get some magic and hearts and stuff. All right, here we are back now at this area. And uh, I guess this is what I'll uh, end off this episode here for uh, for today, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, in the next episode, we should be able to go and battle ourselves with goats. So that's going to be pretty nice. So I'll see you guys when we do that. So peace.